Okay, on to step eight, getting in front of deals. This is where you start to take action. You know your foundation. Now you have to put the wheels to the pavement and do it. Learning how to do the analysis and the due diligence is the first step in being able to determine if a deal is worth pursuing, whether it be a business, real estate, or investing. Deal flow is important. The more deals you can get in front of, the smarter you will become. You will also start talking to other people that can analyze those deals with you. So you will learn how to look at deals from various perspectives. Before you can analyze a deal, you need a point of reference. If you are just starting out in real estate, go out and physically look at houses, condos, and a small strip mall or commercial space. Look at a lot. What's a lot? If you are new to real estate, looking at 100 properties is not unreasonable. You are going to find some that really aren't good and some that are average. Until you have a point of reference, you won't know which is great, good, or average. If you are interested in starting a business, start asking people about business opportunities they know about. Ask them why they are doing it and why not a different business. Analyze these business opportunities in your area of interest. If you don't have experience in the business you're interested in starting, make sure the team has great leadership and training. Learn the ins and outs. Also consider working for free, not necessarily full-time, but offer an hour or two a week. Whatever time you can to learn more about the business will benefit you greatly. Don't jump on the first one that comes along, especially when it comes to multi-level marketing. Deal flow is important. By getting in front of as many deals as possible, you will learn what good deals, bad deals, and average deals look like. Having a mentor to guide you through this process is invaluable. Start looking for a mentor who has had success in, in the area you're interested in. This is being massively successful for me. Every time I started something, I found a mentor to lock arms with and learn from. From the beginning of my real estate to my online marketing entrepreneurship career, every single time I start something new, I look for someone who's doing it and then I follow them as much as I can. Even paying for coaching for thousands of dollars because you can learn so much from someone who has already created a seven-figure business. So on this exercise, set some defined goals for the next three months to help get in front of deals, i.e., I will look at 20 properties each week or I will find one new person who can help analyze a business opportunity with me. I will attend events and business presentations. 